Hey, what's up? I'm back. Today is day five of my post-op recovery for my partial knee replacement, the patellofemoral kind. Um, a couple of things have changed, not too much since I saw you last. I think that was day two or day three. I think it was day two. Um, I'm going to show how I wrap myself up to get in the shower. We're going to reveal what these incisions look like together. So you're going to see this at, uh, for the first time at the same time I do. Should be pretty gross. <laughs> I am actually overdue because day three is when they tell you you can take a shower, but I just didn't, still did not feel stable enough without my crutch standing inside the shower. Um, I did purchase inside this box right here. Um, it's better safe than sorry, so I made a lot of purchases ahead of time. I got a shower chair. <clears throat> it's like a crutch, but it's with all the rubber and everything. But you put it inside the shower and then you can sit there. And, and uh, we're, we're lucky we have the, uh, the spray on a hose that you can use, you know, if you're ever taking a shower at like a Korean spa or something like that, same type of thing. Um, I just, I don't want to clog the tub up with a chair. I would probably only use it a couple times and then try and send it back anyway. So let's see if I can get away with not even opening that box. Um, so we're going to wrap it up. Real quick before we wrap the leg up, I really want to reiterate prehabbing before your surgery, making things strong that are really going to make your recovery better. You know, um, the first day that I was using crutches, I'm, I'm, I'm a strong enough guy and it was hurting my wrist, hurting my arms because it's just a new, it's a new activity, you know, and uh, I had to get the hang of it, get the technique, the timing. Um, I'm still working on it. I'm getting better. But since I have been on the floor using that continuous motion machine, I have to get up from the floor and a lot of times I'll scoot myself backwards and then put my arms behind me and have to push myself back up onto a chair. That's the only way I can really get up without hurting my leg. And um, I was kind of, kind of anticipating this. So I started doing a lot more triceps dips. Um, this is a pretty cool pull-up bar that you put in the door. Pull-ups will help too, right? But the tricep dips, this has an attachment that you bolt together and then you just take off when you don't want to use it. And you can just do your pull-ups. I'm going to be doing a lot of these types of exercises because, you know, I can't do much with my legs, but I can totally keep making this stuff stronger. But when you're doing your tricep dips from here, this is a little loose, I got to fix it. You know, boom, this is a very similar motion to pushing yourself up onto a chair when you can't use your legs too well. So I highly, highly recommend getting something like this to get that strength up. Also, similar strength to using your crutches as well, right? Good, all right, so let's wrap this thing up. I don't think it has to be any, anything too crazy because this is still pretty waterproof. It started lifting up a little bit. I, you can tell I've, I've had it on for too long, but I don't know if you can tell that the swelling has gone down a little bit. I've been measuring at three different spots in the morning and the night, and I finally saw, saw it go down since yesterday morning. I went down like two inches on my calf, went down an inch up here. This has pretty much stayed the same, which makes the most sense. I mean, this is this is gonna have the most swelling out of all, all the spots for the longest amount of time, probably for weeks or months. But um, I can actively bend my leg a little bit now. I couldn't do that before. I have more control over that. Sometimes when I'm standing, I can actually activate the quads a little bit. You can see my, see my kneecap bump up a little bit, boom. I can turn that stuff on now at will. When I have weight on it, it, it hurts a lot. But uh, it's just a cool, it's just cool to feel those things, you know, waking up again. Lately, uh, starting last night, um, I tried to start propping my leg up, um, and I'll get back to that at the very end, propping my leg up. So I started propping my leg up in bed, and then my leg kind of fell off the side, off of like this far, onto the bed, and then I felt a sharp pain right down on the medial side. Um, and it's been hurting ever since. I think maybe I might have loosened up a stitch or something. I don't know, but I'm not going to worry about too much. You know, you're, you're going to have all kinds of weird, crazy pains, but I definitely have a huge pain right here, like a burning sensation that's been bothering me a little bit. So I've been putting extra ice on. No, oh, I can't wait to take a shower. I, I feel like I smell horrible. <laughs> Kat says I don't smell at all. And I'm no. like, are you crazy? I, I don't smell notice it. I can smell it constantly. So I'm just going to wrap it up a little bit. Let's do that one time around. 
Nothing crazy. I'm not gonna take a really long shower either. Just... I love this type of tape. It's paper tape, so it uh, it won't pull your hair out. It doesn't leave any residue. It's, it's got to be not waterproof. I don't think it's waterproof at all. But for what we're using it for, it should work fine. I'll like double layer it. I remember when I was uh, when I was young and I did this. I just used like a trash bag. But you can do that too. Uh -huh. You can use a trash bag. It gets really hot and. I'm an adult now. I have all these nice supplies. If you have enough surgeries, you start to accumulate all this stuff. I guess this is a great thing. Alright, so, uh, when I had the brace on, walking with one leg, I don't even need the, need the crush. I can just walk around, boom, 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 fine with the brace. Feels great. But without it, it's still very unstable. I can feel the muscles. The cool thing about the inflammation going down is I can feel the muscles wanting to turn on again to like stabilize. But that equals pain. <laughs> that equals pain and it's still very unstable because of all the swelling. So I don't really want them to turn on too much yet. I haven't even gone to PT once. So getting the shower started. Probably. No, I don't want to get this wet either. I mean, your bathroom is probably going to be set up different than mine, so you're going to have to figure out how to get in. Um, whatever your good side is, I would brace yourself um, and then put the good side in. You can see I can stand on my on my injured leg as long as I have a hold of enough stuff. Boom! I can lift my other leg up. I can stand straight. I'm just not bending it or doing anything else with it. So I'm taking my clothes off, stand on one leg, get the good leg in. And then I'm probably gonna like, I don't know if I'll swing this one in or maybe I'll just pull this one in like that, shower the best I can and dry off. Then we're gonna rip everything off and look at the incision. So I'll be back in a second. Good luck. I'm clean, finally. <laughs> my butt's clean, my armpits are clean. I washed as many things as I can. I couldn't really get the bottom of my feet, but I could, I could use a sponge or something. You also have a booboo on your head. Yeah, I also came back with a second injury that I didn't have before. <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing crazy. It's one of those little hooks that holds the, the, poof. the poof in the shower. Smash my head on it, but it'll be alright. Alright, I'm using clean paper towels. Get any excess moisture off of here. I always use clean paper towels when you got a fresh tattoo or a open wound. Don't use your regular towel because it's full of germs. We'll keep that just in case. So we're gonna add some extra bandages on that, I think. Uh -huh. Just in case. Oh god, here we go. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna look. Don't look then. Oh, it kinda hurts too. It's taking scabs off, man. I don't wanna take scabs off. Oh boy. Uh... Oh now you're grossed out too, huh? I've been grossed out. You've been grossed out? Yes. Uh... Yeah, it's been pulling up at the bottom a lot. Oh no. Oh man. I'll tell you what, this is a lot better than the incision I had 20 years ago in the same spot. 
that shit was all like zigzag. I mean, this is a little bit zigzag at the top, but that was all staples. I don't know if you're allowed to show this on YouTube. Why? Open wound. Oh, really? Blood. So I'm not supposed to clean this yet. I think that's another arthroscopic hole right there. And then it went in both, yeah. both sides. Okay. So yeah, I got the wrong size. I got four by 12 was way too long. <laughs> But at least I know it's long enough, right? <laughs> it's gonna be all. <laughs> All right, good as new, right? Got new bandages on, clean, feel good. Oh, I'm tired. It's hard work, man. Last purchase that I got, I just came in today. Okay, let me move back. For elevation. I was, I was driving myself crazy using ice machines and stuff like that. I did end up ordering a game ready ice sleeve. That's coming in tomorrow, I'm pretty excited about it. But I was talking to my PT, who's a friend of mine, and he had to explain, he's like, the ice is, for the first like two days, the ice will help keep the swelling from getting totally out of control. But after that, it's more for pain management. And if you really want to get the swelling to come back out of your leg, you gotta elevate your leg and keep it elevated, especially when you're sleeping, when you're hanging out during the daytime. So I got this, I'll put a link underneath for this. This is from Amazon. This turned out to be perfect. I looked at a bunch of them. I have pretty long legs. And I hate when my heels hang off the edge because then it feels like your legs are kind of like, like your feet are kind of going numb. It's pretty annoying. In addition to the pain you're already dealing with. This, this angle right here is like perfect. Um, I like the wall on the side so your legs don't roll off the side and fall off like what happened to me last night. Um, this thing's pretty awesome. This just came in. So I put a link to that down there. I really recommend getting one of these too. This plus the game ready coming in tomorrow. Those are your most important things. And get strong, as always, right? With all your surgery recoveries. Get strong first, get strong after. As soon as you can, however you can, right? Work around your energy. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you have any further questions. See you next time.